What is going on everyone? Chris with Journals, Comics, and Pop Culture, and we are where the magic happens when it comes to cleaning and pressing comic books, guys. And I did an unboxing of this awesome key, Amazing Spider-Man 78, First Appearance of the Prowler, and I was showing it off in that video and people were like, whoa, that's a spine roll. How do you get rid of something like that? Because I spoke of, in the video, possibly trying to work out the spine roll. Let me show you guys. You guys can see the effects of the spine roll right here on the back of the book. You see how this is uneven. Uh, the pages are off-centered. And, uh, you know, you can tell that there's a bit of a spine roll here. It's definitely been flattened, though, over time. Uh, but it's obviously still there. So, guys, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how you can work out a spine roll. All right? Now... I already went in to uh, cleaning up the book a little bit uh, before I do any type of pressing. But to get rid of a spine roll, you do a press specifically to get rid of the spine roll. And then after that, I'm going to go back in and press it up, you know, front cover, back cover, like you would a normal book that didn't have any spine issues. So the first thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to clear everything out and I'm going to take this book, all right? I'm going to open it up to the centerfold. That's not the centerfold. Uh, there's the centerfold. Staples are nice and good there, right? We're going to lay it flat just like this. I'm not going to put too much pressure on it, but I'm putting a little pressure on it just to make sure that it will sit down uh, well. Yeah, I tried to get the staining out, guys, but that is actual stained deep into the texture of the comic book. So just to add context there. All right. Once I have this now, guys, the way that you can get rid of a spine roll is with the 15 by 15 press. This little press over here that's a 12 by 9 can't do it because the comic book has to fit into the press entirely when it's open. So if you got a 12 by 9 press, you're not going to be able to fit the whole comic book in. That's going to be a problem, guys. All right. Now, the other thing that you need or that I use is my Con Air humidifier. All right, and I, I, I say take heed when using any type of moisture on a book. But this is how you're going to get your best uh, results by adding some moisture. And uh, it's already plugged in and it's already warmed up. I definitely recommend the Con Air. Don't buy a knockoff brand. This one was decently affordable. I think it was only like 30 bucks. All right, and what I do is I make sure that I hold the, uh, the humidifier at least six inches away from the book and usually what i do too when i when i first pull the trigger i don't put it at the book because sometimes it spews little uh spats of water so i want to make sure I, I get the steam i don't know if you guys can see that on camera you see the steam coming up there i want to get that going a little bit and then once it gets going i'm going to direct it over towards the book all right so i'm going to get top to bottom I don't want to move too much or too fast, I mean, because again, I don't want any actual water droplets coming out. I want it specifically to be steam that is hitting the book, right? There we go. By the way, I do have the press on. It is at the temperature that I desire. All right, and as you guys can see, I am not getting too close to the book. I'm keeping about six inches away. Getting it nice and, and moistured up there with the steam, all right? I'm going to let it go, right? And then what I do, I take backing boards and I put the backing boards on top of the book, all right? This is just for extra protection. And then I get my Teflon sheet, all right? And then I close it down and I'm actually going to loosen this. I have it on the, type, the the pressure that I want for standard pressing. I'm going to loosen it up about an inch and a half to the left before I press down for a spine roll. And then there we go. So guys, it's in there. Um, I have the heat on for about five minutes. Okay, that's basically the, the highest I will go. Uh, and I've even talked about in other videos, it, it really depends. I'm pretty good with five minutes for um, anything pre-modern, 
you know, Copper Age and below. When you start getting into modern books, though, especially the ones with the magazine pages, uh, I do not do three minutes at all. I literally do about 15 seconds. All right. Um, that's all the heat that I put on modern books because those pages can stick and that ink can run. Um, I also do lower heat. I also do lower heat. Right now, I have this at 170. And that again, that's about as high as I go. For uh, my modern books, I don't go higher than 135. All right. So we're going to leave this in here for five minutes. All right. And then I'm going to leave it in overnight. So I will see you guys tomorrow and we'll see what the book looks like after the press. All right, guys, we are back. It's the next day and I am going to pull the book out of the press after sitting in it for just about 24 hours, guys. We're going to move the Teflon sheet out of the way and we'll get, we're going to pull uh, roll my sleeves up. We're going to pull this off here. And we're going to see what this book looks like. Nice and flat. Got to be very careful. All right, there we go. So as you guys can see, the book is super flat. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to get that get that new fold right where it needs to be. All right. Let's see now. So I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to hold it right here. I'm going to hold it right at the edge of the bottom pages, guys, like that. And then I'm going to slowly put pressure on the spine. Make sure it's lined up. There we go. And now I'm going to push down. I know it, if you guys are trying this at home, it can be kind of like uh, stressful thinking, oh no, I'm like, I'm pressing, I'm, I'm pressing down on this book like I'm folding a piece of paper, right? But don't worry, this is the new um, spine crease. This is where you want it to be, all right? So I'm going to just put enough pressure on there. That way it'll stay once I lift up my hands. There we go. I see. I mean, it moved a little bit. So the old one was right here. You can see the dirt. The new one is obviously right where the color starts on the um, front uh, front cover. I'm going to put a little more pressure. Uh, you know, you just, you, I got to play around. I don't want to put too much pressure at first. I put it up there. Now I'm putting a little more pressure on. All right. Ah, there we go. And I want to distribute it. You see, I'm not poking it with one finger or anything like that because I don't want to uh, put pressure on one spot and, uh, you know, like create a spine tick. All right. You got to be very careful not to uh, move the book. Usually I, I, I might use gloves sometimes doing this, but uh, I wash my hands very good. I, I want to have the feel of the book while I'm doing this. I'm going to go and do a, a clean of this. Um, again, so I'm very comfortable with the fact that I'm not wearing gloves right now. All right, so now I'm going to get this book ready for a standard front press, okay? Uh, and that's going to allow this. You guys could see here it's not sitting flat. I mean, if we just leave it like this, it's already corrected and much better, right? But what we're going to do now is we're going to get it ready for a standard press. Um, and I'm going to take a, uh, a regular backing board. I'm going to sit it in the middle of the book into the center fold. Okay. Where's that center fold? Nope. That's not the center fold. That's not the center fold. There it is. There's the center fold. I want to put it right at the new crease. There we go. All right. I'm going to take my heavy weight art paper. Uh, this isn't, I usually use heavier. This is like, I think 45 pounds. I usually use like a 90 but this is what I have out here for right now, and it's fine. Put that in there. All right, under the cover. All right, we're going to turn this bad boy on. I, I, I should have had it on. <laughs> I should have had the press on while we were doing this, but that's quite all right. Now, um, I'm going to actually, I'm going to reach across the camera here. I'm going to get this uh, uh, 
pad, this uh, Absarine uh, eraser pad, and I'm just going to clean it up. I feel a little bit of a texture right here, so I'm just going to kind of, yeah, try to get this a uh, little bit of texture off right here. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. All right. Make sure there's no, no uh, uh, alien uh, foreign uh, pieces of dirt or anything like under the uh, cover or in the pages. All right. And then just like I did with uh, the other one, I'm going to turn this. Uh... Humidifier on here, just like I did when it was flat, when we were, you know, fixing the spine crease. I'm going to get some moisture on the cover of the book before we press it down. And that's going to uh, also help uh, the new spine settle. All right. So again, we got the con air. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to pull the trigger and spray it out a little bit while it gets hot. Just to make sure there's no, um, you know, uh, water droplets coming out that it's all see yeah see a little bit of water droplets coming out at first but it's going now so again i'm going to keep it about six inches away from the book and get in there get the inside of it a little bit in there all right there we go And then lastly, I'm going to get my uh, backing board, put it right on top, get my Teflon sheet right on top. And then now I'm going to tighten up the pressure because I loosen it up to do the spine, but I'm tightening it up just about an inch to the right. And then we're closing it down. So. Uh, this is going to sit in here with heat for five minutes. And from there, guys, I, once again, I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours uh, in the, the, the cool press. And then once that's done, we're going to come back here and we're going to see how it is. Um, usually, I will press a book on the front and the back. But this might suffice. This might be enough just from this press here. So we'll see when we pull it out tomorrow and we come back here. We'll see if it's going to be ready to go in some Mylar or not. So, all right, guys, I'll see you in another 24. All right, guys, here we are another day later. So, hey, look, you guys that want to get into pressing and doing this stuff, you got to have patience. This is the third day on this book. Just open the press. Let's go ahead and look at this book, guys. Take that off, get this um, backing board up, gotta be careful lifting that up, here it is, look at that, that is a beauty guys, we're gonna look at this closely, I'm gonna take the heavyweight paper out of here, and again, you gotta be very, very careful, get the uh, board out of the centerfold. Oh man, I think this book came out great. Look at this perfect, look at that. Look at this, guys. Look at that new spine. Look at that. See, you could see now where the old spine fold was, way over here. Uh, so you know what? I am going to do another press uh, on the back and I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do some cleaning. I could probably get some of that out, but look at this, guys. That is perfectly flat and smooth. Obviously, you know, the book had its own defects. What looks like a a bit of a subscription crease over here. Uh, some kind of fold. That color broke. Uh, but let's look at the back. See how the pages sit? Now, it, it's a little, you know, it's closer here, a little more off there. But look, again, I mean, this is a good, what, centimeter of a, of a difference in where the, the fold is. So... Um, yeah, definitely going to clean that up, but this sits nice and flat right on the staples. There it is, guys. This is going to be, um, a beauty in a Mylar bag. 
even with with the defects that it has so um there it is guys that's how you fix a spine roll so if you guys have any further questions please leave your questions in the comments let me know what you guys thought now again you know this is um uh, there's going to be more to this process like i said i'm definitely going to be looking to uh try to get the back cleaned a little there i'm gonna use a bit of a little bit of a magic eraser and like i've said in past videos you only use magic eraser on white nothing else it'll take even even back here if i use it and it touches the ink it could take that right off so i'm gonna rip a little piece off and just kind of clean up along the spine um and i'll do a little basic cleaning to that front still but obviously focusing on on the topic of the video how do you correct a spine roll there it is guys i really hope this was helpful again please ask questions if you need to be cautious going into these things i i when it comes to any type of pressing guys i recommend practicing 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 even with your basic pressing practice on books that you found in the quarter bin or the 50 cent bin books that are beat up reader copies that have no value uh, it's even with spine rolls, you know, find a beat up book from the 1990s that has no value. Um, make your own spine roll or something and then try to work on uh, correcting it. But uh, I, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Be very careful in your guys' uh, uh, attempts to correct spine rolls and to press. Um, again, it, it takes a lot of work. Um, I wouldn't have done uh, spine roll correction on a key book, a valuable book, if it was my first uh, go, right? So with that being said, guys, thank you all so much, so much for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments. If you aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please take some time to do so. And until next time.